Something I feel not enough people pay attention to is ergonomics, especially now that more people are sitting at their desk for longer periods of time. For example, I spend all day at my desk working, and then once the workday ends, I go upstairs, I grab some food, I come right back downstairs, come right back to my desk, and I play games. So, ergo continues to be a more and more important aspect of people's everyday lives, and with the work from home and more people getting into, you know, PC gaming and sitting at a desk, ergo becomes ever so more important. So today let's go over some very important ergo tips for you to stay comfortable and keep your body healthy while you're at your desk. So first things first, it all starts off with your chair. Your chair is going to be one of the most important aspects of your desk in terms of its ergonomics. Anything that separates you from the ground should be something you invest well in, whether that's shoes, tires, a bed, or your chair. And especially if you're gonna be sitting in that chair for, you know, five plus hours a day. So I highly suggest you invest in a good chair because a good chair can make the world of a difference in terms of how your body feels after sitting in one for long periods of time. Next week, I will be doing a video specifically on chairs, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do wanna be notified of when I put that one out. So the setup of your chair is also important. You wanna make sure that your chair is able to get high enough to your desk that you're able to have your arms at a 90 degree angle. This is the most ergonomic way to have your arms at your desk, and so adjust the height of your chair accordingly. Also, good chairs have a lot of other adjustments like lumbar support, so go ahead and make those. Those adjustments are there for the chair to fit your body because not everybody's body is the same, so make sure you make those adjustments. After you've raised your chair, if you're on the shorter side and your feet no longer touch the ground in order to keep your arms at a 90 degree angle with your desk, you're gonna wanna have to put something underneath your feet because you don't want them dangling that can cause loss of circulation in your legs. You can either get a special footrest for these that you can put under your desk, or you can go the cheaper route and use, you know, stacks of paper, your old textbooks uh, that you don't use anymore, things like that. Also, make sure that your arms aren't actually bearing any of your weight. When you're sitting at your computer, you shouldn't be leaning down on your arms on the desk. You should be able to sit comfortably straight up and down, and your arms should be able to move freely without bearing any weight. So next up is monitor height, and this is the one that I see most frequently forgotten about when people do their desk setups. So the important thing to note here is that your eyes should be level with the top 25% of your monitor. Your eyes should not be above the monitor, and your eyes should not be too far below the monitor. You don't want to be looking up, and you don't want to be looking down at your monitor. Most monitors have very good adjustments within the stand if you're using monitor mounts you can make those adjustments there as well and if your stand doesn't get high enough for you to keep your eyes level with that top 25 percent again you can go ahead and use a stack of paper or a textbook to bring that monitor up a couple years ago i actually made a very inexpensive monitor stand using a shelf and some legs from ikea i will go ahead and leave a link in the description below for the parts for that very easy and straightforward and it cost me about 25 bucks. Another important thing in regards to your monitor is that you should be able to sit with proper posture straight up and down and still be able to read your monitor. You shouldn't have to lean forward to be able to read anything on it. You should be able to sit comfortably and in a neutral position while reading. So if you feel like your monitor is too far away and you constantly have to lean forward in order to read, bring your monitor closer to your face. Now, I don't like telling people a specific distance that they should have it because really it depends on the resolution of your monitor, the size of your monitor, and a whole bunch of different aspects. So this is entirely up to you. If you feel like you're able to sit comfortably in a neutral position and read your monitor, then that's a good distance for you. So next up is what most people think about when they think of desk ergonomics, and that is your keyboard and mouse. So first off, when typing, your hand should be as flat and neutral as possible. You don't want any extreme bending either upwards or downwards in your hands. Wrist rests are meant for exactly that when your hands are resting. You shouldn't be relying on a wrist rest while typing. That creates a lot of unnecessary pressure on the portion of your wrist where the circulation is going through and where the tendons are. 
and that can cause a lot of problems. Wrist rests are not meant to bear the weight of your hands or your arms while you're typing, so please keep in mind, try to avoid that. They are meant for you to rest your hands on while you're not typing. Your hands and wrists should be able to move freely over the keyboard while you're typing, and then you can use your palms or your elbows to help rest while you're not typing. Your mouse arm should be able to rest on something typically closer to the elbow. Now this can either be your desk if it's large enough like mine or the arms on your chair. You wanna to try to avoid moving your mouse past 45 degrees away from your body so that you can prioritize using your elbow for movement and not your shoulder. You also wanna to try to minimize as much wrist movement as possible because this can go and aggravate your wrist and it's not a natural position. Depending on your use case, you can also use mice that try to keep your hand in a more neutral position. Keeping your hand flat is not very natural and keeping it pointing upwards is a little bit more natural. So you may have seen a lot of these vertical mice or even the MX Ergo mouse. I actually use one for work. And this one actually keeps my hand at a nice comfortable angle. Using the thumb ball is very comfortable and I find it something that I enjoy while I work. Although I use regular mice like the MX Master in my you know personal life and not my work. With that, I also tend to rest on the side of my palm while I'm not typing. This is very comfortable for me. I don't feel like I'm straining anything and it helps keep your arm in that neutral position, which helps reduce fatigue. One of our last steps is to ensure that anything you use often is close to you. You don't wanna be reaching for things often. Uh, reaching for things brings you out of a neutral posture and then can go ahead and strain parts of your body. For people who stream and create content, something that they may often reach for is something like a stream deck. So you wanna keep that close enough to you that you're not reaching forward uh, to use it. It's able to be within arm's distance. Um, if you have a home desk setup, that would be something like your desk phone, um, you know, anything like that. You want to be able to reach it without having to extend or stretch out to get to it. And my final tip is to be to get up and stretch often. If you're going to be gaming, you know, maybe in between matches, get up and take a quick little walk around your room. Uh, you know, keep your arms, your shoulders and your neck stretched out nicely. Um, you should be getting up at least once every hour. I drink a lot of water during the day and what I do is I use emptying my water bottle by drinking it as a way to promote me to get up and get out of my desk and go get more water. So that's a really easy way to do that as well. You can do that with a glass of water if you don't drink as much. You know, once you finish your glass, you walk over and go fill it up again. But getting up often will help you feel a lot more comfortable by the end of the day after sitting in your chair and it'll help just keep your body moving and you won't get as stiff. Now I hope some of these tips will help you make your desk a much more comfortable place for you to spend your time at, especially if you're going to be spending more time working from home, you know, doing more video editing or gaming with your friends. If you found anything in this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, or if you have any ergo tips of your own, please leave those down in the comment section below and I would love to check them out. Once again, next week I'll be doing a video specifically talking about chairs, so if you want to check that out, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of when it comes out. Thanks again to my patron sponsor Step Back. Thank you to watching to the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.